Well, guess what? It's Thursday once again. You know what that means. Time for fishing tips. On this week's segment, Ray and Mandy tell you everything you need to know about fishing in the weeds. Today we're going to talk a little about a bit about the importance of fishing in the weeds and around the weeds. Uh, it's probably one of the most frustrating things for people who don't do a lot of fishing is they, they probably stay away from the weeds in the summer. A lot of our summer tourist people come up and maybe we'll bobber fish along the edges of them, but they often don't go into the weeds. And we think that's something that you really need to understand a little bit about why it's important to learn to fish the weeds. Let's backtrack a little bit. They're not weeds, they're submerged vegetation. But the veg is where they're at. Everything is going to be in that vegetation, one. On a sunny day, you know, the sun's penetrating down. Fish don't have eyelets. They can't squint. They don't have sunglasses. They're gonna go to wherever they have cover so they can get some protection from the sun. Two, the food chain's there. The, the macroinvertebrates to the minnows to the panfish all the way up, there's readily available food, plus there's cover. They can hide in there, they can hang out in there, they can, you know, hunt for other fish in there. So don't think that, oh, I got hung up in the, in the weeds or the submerged vegetation again or I don't want to fish it. You really need to learn how. One of the easiest things to do is to buy weedless products things that will skim through the weeds. So if you want to cast into them, like weedless daredevils, weedless plugs, uh, working into the actual vegetation. I, I still call it weeds, she calls it vegetation. <laughs> but to work right into the thick of it, because that's where they are. Another thing that is very common with professional anglers, anglers is they'll go in and visually find where the, where the vegetation's thinner, and that's where they go in and maybe use flipping sticks or different baits just to cast into those little pockets where the weeds and the vegetation is not as thick. You don't always have to fish right in the, the vegetation line itself. I suggest starting on the inside of the veg and, and pitching that line uh, with, with plastics or jigs or anything. If you're not getting anything, move to the outside of that vegetation line, pull off a little bit and cast to the outside of it you're guaranteed to catch fish. Fishing weeds or fishing vegetation, it's a great place to find those fish. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.